they stay there yeah. And they stay there yeah. And they stay there yeah. Marco Mitchell, tell us about. Let's, <laughs> hey, let's do it. Hey, how about the fans, Marco? I know you're not from around here, but you've embraced this area. What are your thoughts on the Redskins fans? Oh, man, you definitely, you definitely got a lot of fans around here. You know, they all about their team and everything, and that's what I can definitely respect about them. What's your vibe from Coach Mike Shanahan? You've been around him. You guys have pra practiced a little bit. You had a mini camp. How much different is the atmosphere at Redskins Park right now? I mean, it's a it's a totally different atmosphere. I mean. Mike Shanahan, he feels the same way like everybody else feels around here. We won a championship. For the Redskins, the next couple of weeks. I mean, go back out there, get on the field, and try to make ourselves better and get to where we need to be at. How hungry are you this year? Last year you were a rookie. You got just a taste of the NFL. I bet you're real hungry this year. Oh, yeah, man. I'm always hungry, man. I'm ready to eat right now. <laughs> Antoine Randall L. held a competition to test the skills of his fellow wideouts at Redskins Park. Right now, we're going to do a little wide receiver competition with my quarterback, Colt Brennan. He's going to be throwing the ball. He's going to be throwing to Marco Mitchell, Devin Thomas. And, of course, we also have the young Keith Eloy. Oh! Get him, Colt. Get him, Colt. Three for three. Oh, he got it. Can we get a perfect one? Oh, Lord. You might have cheated on that. I think he turned a little early, but that's okay. Yeah, yeah, that Devin Thomas right there. That D. Thomas. That D. Oh, that Devin Thomas. Joe uh. what? Watch out for the microphone. Yeah, come on, Devin. You Uncle Willie's son. You Uncle Willie's son. <laughs> That's it. That's it. All right. Okay, and as you saw, Marco Mitchell, he pulled it out. He caught all six balls. He was perfect, got his head around on the swivel and caught the ball. So don't count him out. That's Marco Mitchell, y'all. I wish CP called out uh, Carlos Rogers today and said that Marco Mitchell was unstoppable. Said that, that Carlos could not stop him at all today. You know, Marco has been doing this thing all camp. You know, they they have a hard time with him. All the DB, they talk about him every day. You know, you see every catch now and then he get he get a little thud by uh, Landry. Landry putting the shoulders in him. And I told him, you know, when you're getting those kind of, you know, hits after the play and you got the guys talking about you or saying something to you, they give them a little nicknames here and there, Lanky Leveston and, and Big Face Hunter. You know, they give them all these nicknames. I say that goes to show you that you're doing something interesting to them, and those guys are watching you. So you're important on their, their daily plan when it comes to, um, you know, stopping somebody in practice. And um, he's been getting the best of them. So that's, you know, been one of the uh, bright spots about him and Kemp. You know, he's been doing well against the ones. Here's, here's a guy, though, that's, you know, a vet like CP. Going basically pulling for a rookie against another vet, though. I mean, I mean you don't really see that too often. Man. Yeah, but when you got a guy like Marco, he's he, he he's before his time. I mean, you can look at the guy the way he handles himself. I mean, he's young, but he can play football. You know what I mean? And and when you can play football, it ain't no vet or rookie thing. You know, you put all that outside the door, you go out there and do what you do. And um, I look forward to just seeing him in action, man. You know, I you know I think he's been one of the guys that you really say that you know has been having a great camp. Why not play in your favor then if Clinton is, is pumping you up as a rookie to the vets, right? Uh, I mean, only thing he can do is make make me much better, you know, make the guys play me even harder. So, you know, only thing he can do is make me better and better prepared for my opponent to uh, place next to me. 
Have you enjoyed going at at those corners? The D'Angelo, Smooth, Carlos, they all talk a lot, obviously. Of course, I mean I mean not not every day you get to go against no guy. You know, me, I'm a rookie, so you know, I seen I was growing up, you know, I seen these guys on T V playing against these guys, seeing these guys making all these different type of plays. So, you know, now that I'm getting the opportunity to go against these guys every day as, on practice, on, on <clears throat> in practice, it's just a privilege to me. Sounds like you're calling them old. Huh? Sounds like you're calling them old a little bit. Uh, I guess so. <laughs> no, I'm not for real. I'm not calling them old. I mean, I'm young, too. I mean, they just, we're just about the same age, so, you know, I'm not calling them old. Oh. <laughs> Marta, you feel like you're making, you've made your mark. I mean, are you, you're happy with the way things are going for you here? I mean, I'm, pr I'm pretty much happy, you know. I, like I said, I just come in and just do my job. That's all I can do. I'm Mike Chipos, man. I got this, yeah.